Hi everyone. Hope you are doing well. Uh, we are now starting our free PVKs course. I will explain all of you uh, today in the session uh, regarding how to add the PVKs in our uh, AutoCAD because the PVKs is the software which is used uh, uh, integrated with the AutoCAD. Basically, it is paid version. Uh, we don't have any crack version of that. So uh, it is paid and I have that. Uh, so uh, I will give you uh, how to basically PVKs is installed in, in, uh, in my computer and now I will show you how to uh, you will add uh, in the top screen of the AutoCAD I have opened this AutoCAD uh, it is running on the uh, less uh, less session version of uh, like uh, 220, uh, 2022 2021 uh, and less up to 18 uh, a higher uh, version they will uh, not operate it on that so you see that i have cursor add in uh, ins so when i click on that they will show us the pvks this options and i will click on that options this window is pop up you see that there are the layers uh, options then in the frame park setting then in the layout generation setting then in the gen generate single array then the generate piles shading analysis capacity irritations reassign the frame electrical design layout informations cross sections civil analysis draw road terrain mesh shading objects contour lines conversations export to the pvc import settings so there are the multiple uh, options there first of all we will uh, run through our the layout how we will build our layout on the uh, this software first of all it, it is our uh, frame part settings when i click on that they will the new window pop up that so you see that uh, there are the they give us the parameters module parameters like 2.3 their length width thickness power of the frame then the frame parameters are they given uh, select the types it is uh, fixed tilt east west tracker are fixed tilt they don't allow us the dual trackers then the the module orientations it is i will explain one by one first in the modules i will exp give the length uh, 2.38 it is our 16 uh, 6 uh, 715 watt pv modules of the ja solar that have the length of the uh, 2384 mm so i have converted it to meters 2.384 and then the width of uh, the modules is 1.303 and the thickness is 33 mm so i have converted the mm to the uh, uh, meters so 0 0.033 it is the value and then the the power of the frame i have set uh, the 715 watt ga solar but uh, here we can't give the uh, module uh, manufacturer we just give the power so now move on to the frame parameters we give us the frame parameters it is fixed tilt i have already selected that there and we are placing the modules in the uh, the portrait orientations there are the two number of rows you see that in the pictures they show us the two uh, pv modules mounted in the uh, portrait um, orientations if i will convert it to one they will select just one so my frame is two rows so i have selected two rows uh, then they have the uh, columns basically we are setting up the frames which is as per our uh, string size so we have the string size of the 28 pv module in the one frame so that's why i have 
selected 28 if we select 14 they will less than but you can add it is 28 then they give us the uh, ask us to the tilt angle of the pv module here i have selected the 15 you can select 28 they will show uh, how to uh, you see in the uh, window that they will give us the orientation also if i select 50 they give us like that so i have the 15 degree tilt and i have selected that and that the horizontal gap between the pv modules it is basically uh, between the two modules in the horizontal plane up and down and this is the vertical gap so mainly in the uh, fixed tilt structure it is 20 mm spacing between the PV modules frames and in the vertical and the horizontal spacing and the total power of the frame is big basically it is 28 PV modules in one string so there are the 56 PV modules basically 28 in one row and 28 in the second rows so that's why there are the 56 PV modules when multiply by MB with 15 uh, 750 watts so they converted it into the uh, kilowatt is 40.040 it is basically now uh, i will also uh, customize the pilings you see that there are the piling options in that uh, i will explain in the next video how we will uh, play uh, there we give this side view in the next video i will explain how to give the piling of the uh, structures then it is option there uh, so we can add different uh, PV module structures like here is a 2P28. You can make it 2P14. Uh, so it is the option of the plus. So you can uh, create a new one. Uh, it is a duplicate. If you want to duplicate that options, you can that uh, copy selected frames and delete the options. In this.